if I die, what I was telling my mom is don't get like, don't get a funeral, you know, don't get all crazy, you know, make it simple. I just told her to cremate me, you know, get me up in a bunch of ashes, pour me in a bunch of race gas, and put it in a race car, and then just go down the quarter mile, and I want to go through the motor. That's what I want to do. I'm working with a legend. I'm working with somebody, you know, one of the founding fathers of the scene. It's just a challenge of getting a vehicle or a motor in my hands and just building it to its potential. Okay, I don't like wearing gloves. It's like kind of like wearing condoms. I can't feel with it, you know? I need to feel what I'm like working that? No! Dr. Charles curses. <laughs> he cusses a lot. I'll be back. I gotta go back to work. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sitting here trying to be, you know, PG-13. We're out here having fun, you know? We're messing around. We're farting around. We're talking to Smack about different cars. That's why Mitsubishi is a b to work on. All these parts. If it was a Honda, we would only have five pieces. Yeah. Yeah. You love one? Do you love Eagle Town? Of yeah. course, of course. I, I approve of it. I would put like a little Honda symbol on here and cross it through, but I, you know, I wasn't in control yeah. of the marker at the time, so. Yeah, so I love, yeah, I was just told that Burn it. Chris and I were identical in both ways. He, we both can do the same thing, no problem. Chrissy and myself, we're the, we're like what they call the, the blue collar. Sharon doesn't like to work much. But basically, that's what her mom tells me is that she's not spoiled. She just lives in a life of luxury. And would the lovely Sharon please show us the difference in intercoolers? You show us the size. Show us, come on. She's, she's a display girl. Make that money. Do it, do it. Make do it, that do money. the hand, do the hand. Do the hand. Yeah. She's like one of the guys, you know? You can't look at her as like a, a total female just because we know she'd get, she'd get her nails dirty. Where the hell are you? I'm trying to be on my way back. Way back from where? On my way back from promotion. I'll be back there in like, I think, 20 minutes. You're a liar. We saw you at Starbucks. Two people called us already. Me and Charles alone are already pretty bad. There's a lot of stuff that I know he's done that, you know, is kind of like, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> well, when you come back, we're going to smell your breath. You know, we're just, you know, we're just homies and stuff. So we basically just mess around the whole time. And I tell her, get to work. You know, I got to push her or else. So just tend to kick back and drink some coffee. While I was online trying to find people, get phone numbers, I was searching the internet and I found a link to our competitor's car. Guys, hey guys, come check it out. We got pictures of our competitor's car on the internet, everything. Sharon calls us in and she wants us to check out this girl's car, I guess our competitor. And we go there and look at the car and she's showing us all these different pictures on the internet. Oh, shit, it's a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Not only did Layla kind of spill it when she talked to us, but she also made the mistake of posting like almost every single thing that she did to her car in detail on the internet, which is like big no-no. Okay, she even has, says what they are, STR adjustable cameras. Oh, yeah, that's, that's down, huh? It looks like crap already. We saw what she did. We saw what kind of motor she has, you know, and so now it changed our strategy a lot. We have the same measure as Kim. So, hey, shit, we're gonna put more. The only thing 75, we're gonna put, now we're gonna put like 150. Knowing that she's got, she's gonna be running a 75 shot of nitrous, you know, we're gonna bump it up a little bit. We're gonna push that. So we're gonna probably run like, you know, at least 100 shot, 125 shot of nitrous. We were doing one thing one way, and when we saw that on the internet, oh, it totally changed our plan. So you're at a total disadvantage right now. We knew exactly what to do. So if we would have used this, the car wouldn't have gone anywhere. We would have lost. We would have lost. The strategy on Obi's car is basically to make that all wheel drive turbocharged car get to the eighth mile as quickly as possible. A highly explosive nitrous oxide mixture, when injected into the intake manifold, provides an instant boost to the engine's horsepower. By third gear, we should pretty much be a couple cars ahead of her. All four of our wheels are gonna be spinning. We're gonna hit the nitrous, it's gonna take off. She's still gonna be trying to get traction. First gear brought, second gear brought, third gear, she's just barely gonna be getting it, and the race is gonna be over. A lot of people consider nitrous itself to be dirty because it's a cheap way to make horsepower. I personally don't feel that nitrous is playing dirty. I, I think it's all in fair game. You have equal opportunity to put nitrous in your car just like anybody else did. To go with nitrous, oh, yeah, you're stupid not to. But we just want to make it so extreme, it's an eighth mile, so we want to set it, like, set everything to its potential. We're basically going to take this motor and push it to its limits and kind of ride it out of the hole real hard. Yeah, because we don't want to break the drivetrain. 
but then the drivetrain comes in effect on that car. So that's why we're keeping it to a minimal, same thing within, within this time frame. Well, we got a race tomorrow night, so right. they're taking a little bit longer than we expected. You know, we, we pretty much put on paper how much time everything was going to take, and us slacking off, kind of playing around, taking a little bit longer. Time frame is very, very, very small. Right. Yeah. And so I'm down, but not under 48 hours. Yeah, if we have more. Because if, have if we day. fail, we fail. After hours of executing their new strategy, Dr. Charles and his team watch Obi's new nitrous-armed Eagle talent come to life. Now that we finished everything, it's like more appreciation for what these guys can do. I had high expectations of them, but not only did they meet that, but they exceeded it. So it's going to be surprising. Good job. Good job. Good job. And we have exactly five minutes or four minutes now. Layla, watch out. We're coming out there for you. If you turn the switch on, that's what activates your nitrous. So once you activate that, your car is well activated, ready to go down the track. You'll be able to notice a great deal of horsepower after that. Yeah. Everybody knows the risk to put nitrous oxide on it. And then the bigger the shot, the more radical the car gets. So on his car, we're going to put 125 shot nitrous because we're here to win. But yeah, the drivetrain comes in effect on that car. So it's a risk. It's a big risk. I can blow up this engine with nitrous. So it's the only thing I haven't had actual experience with. So the nitrous is kind of on that fine line, but in the back of my head. OB, he's a pretty cool guy. We can't lose. We're guys, yes, the, the, the macho -ness. We need to win. I'm kind of happy we got OB because he knows what he needs. He knows what's going to get the job done, and he knows how to do it. The Eagle Talon has left the, the building. building. Yes. Woo! Ah. Let's go to Layla's house. I think on the internet it explains so much. I'll find out where <laughs> she lives. Time for some beer. After 36 hours of hard work, both teams converge at the Irwindale Speedway to test their skills on the eight-mile drag strip. I have so much anticipation, I can't wait till it can occur. My only worries are that I have gone from a low horsepower car to this massive beast, and I'm just afraid that I'm not gonna know how to drive it. Knowing that you built this car, and now you're gonna put it to the test, and you're the driver, and I mean, it's just an awesome feeling. Beating my girl in a race, never, and I don't plan to. I'm not a sexist guy, but you know, no guy wants to get beat by a girl. <laughs> I'm a competitive guy. I don't want to lose. I'm going to put the smack down. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's ready awesome. for the yeah. Charles, his strategy is going to be like just trying to psych her out, just saying stuff to her. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna distract her, you know, because basically it's that game plan. When you see him on the track, we're gonna be really straight edge. You wanna put some money on this tonight, maybe? Or? Let me see what I got. All right, let me go grab bucks. my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna drive, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, I wanna drive. <laughs> Dr. Charles and I have some history. Dr. Charles says he never lost a race, but I beat him pretty bad in Hawaii. This is gonna be a pretty fun matchup since, you know, we have a small history and I hope we beat him. So this one is all-wheel drive, yeah? Yeah, it's all-wheel yeah. drive. Yeah. All -wheel drive. Yeah. Seriously. Having an all-wheel drive car versus a front-wheel drive car is the fact that with an all-wheel drive car, you can go in there with half the horsepower of a front-wheel drive and still win. Power-wise, I say about a good 350. The year of the car that they're actually dealing with, it's been known to break, you know, the rear drivetrain on the thing. I've owned one, so I know. Knowing the weaknesses of our competitor's car, we're hoping the other car is going to break. We're estimating that it's not going to last very long. 1.6 liter. What are we up against here? Tying. V16 A. JDM block. Could be blow up, could be bored out like 85 and a half. I think we're going to get off the line faster than what a front wheel drive car is going to do because it has all four wheels uh, spinning. What is your horsepower? Oh, what's your horsepower? Like 200. 200? Uh, no, we're. we're about the same as you. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay, well, we're really only 250. Nice. <laughs> it's going to take the other car a lot longer to get off the line. It's a high horsepower car. It's going to take a lot more to get that car to hook. Good luck. Good luck. I will see you at the end of the track. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be approaching first. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. I'm rooting for her. She's the girl. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. That's how it is. <laughs> Actually seeing the motor and seeing everything that they did with it, and it looks pretty nice, so we should have a nice little competition going on. <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. I'm ready to stomp on some... Mm. 
talons, all wheel <laughs> drive, pieces of. Anyways. They're gonna get smoked. Good job. Yeah, no Straight chance. Straight out, no chance. I told her, like, I'm rooting for you here, the girl, but dude, we're gonna win, dude. We're, we're, we're gonna win. It's, it's, it's over. Okay. Right. Wait, Wait can we get a, okay. can we get a wall on. open? Can we get a wall open? Oh, oh, after checking out each other's motors, Gary, Lanny, and Jensen discovered that Layla posted the car on the internet. This industry's still pretty small. We found out that she ended up going to street races the next night, which really pissed us off. It was just the wrong thing to do. What Layla did was put the modifications up on the internet, which gave our competitors the unfair advantage. It makes me upset. It's just not acceptable. I assumed everything that we did to Layla's car was gonna be confidential. She was out there jeopardizing what we were actually trying to do, to win. Hi, babies. Hello, hello, hello. Mommy's so busy. We're getting ready. You wanna go check out the other competitor's car that Mama's gonna keep their booty? I sense that my team members were pretty upset at me, and I know that it's because I posted my setup on the internet. I don't want them to be upset at me. It bothers me, but I still think that we will do, we'll put up a good fight. And I just wanted to quickly just confront you guys and just let you know that I'm so sorry. It happened, and we're just, it's over. No, I, I know, mean, I just, just gonna, don't want you guys to be upset at me, or I didn't do it on purpose, and I know that this is a totally different level for you guys. You know, you guys are in the pro area, and for me, I'm just a little old person coming from the bottom, you know, and I'm just like, woohoo, I got some stuff that's, on my car. Yeah. You can't really blame her because she has this whole new engine set up and she's ready to, you know, she just wants to go out and just like show this thing off. I think we should just forget about it as much as we can and just concentrate yeah. on what we gotta do. Right. I was ready to kill you though, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I was like, how the hell is everybody out how much horsepower you had? It's cool. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. it. All right. Just make us proud. Yeah. Give you my best, you guys. We're gonna give them all we got for sure. I mean, no matter if they already know what we have, we still think that we'll do all right. It's really gonna mean a lot to Layla to win this race. And I think if she wins, it's really gonna bring her confidence level way high. Hey, I'm gonna finally watch you race. <laughs> My mom's never seen me race, legally or illegally. So she's been waiting for an opportunity to come down and see me run. It's such a pleasure that Obadiah's finally racing legally. It is an unbelievable experience for him that I can I can't even imagine how he feels. He is that excited about it. So to win this race is a dream for him. Obi and Layla will each make a separate test run to check their car's performance before the big race. Layla is up first. I love racing. It's just the whole adrenaline rush of knowing that people are staring at you and you're working up against yourself. Right when you start off, I mean, just the power that just throws you back in your seat. and You know, you're trying to hold on to the steering wheel and shift and concentrate on going straight. It's just anticipation of the lights and then you go. pulling up to that line to get ready to race, your heart rate just starts pumping, and you're just like in this nirvana of just a rush of adrenaline. It's so powerful, it's so, it's so overwhelming, it just takes you, and you're lost in it. That rush is the whole life of why you do it, and right when you're about to race, you just really relax up, and you just let the car go, and you just fly, and it's just a big rush. run that I just did was a test run that sucked. Mainly, I just want to make sure I focus on what I got to do. That's all you got to do. You, your car can only run as fast as it can run, so just focus on what you got to do. And I'm not even worried about her right now.